Welcome to Bridge the Gap, a show where we aim to build a bridge of understanding between opposing views. Each episode, you'll see our participants sit down to discuss some thought-provoking statements. It is my duty to explain racism to those who do not understand it. If they disagree with the statement, they'll leave their seat and allow those that agree to explain themselves. I feel like there's just generally a lot of, there's people that are from different backgrounds, different upbringing, that they don't understand a lot of things. Those that disagree then return and express themselves to the rest of the group, hopefully building a bridge of understanding. But is it your duty? That's the word. <laughs> that's the word that was really <laughs> shit. It's not your job. Let's see what happens. I'm not protecting. I don't. That's fair. Protect. In order to protect my black joy, I do. Alright. It's not. A, it's not to protect. It's not. <laughs> it's not a protecting thing, but I love what I love in it. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, you know. I don't cheat. I don't know. I'm not gonna lie, it's not a protecting thing, innit? I just love what I love. Like, I'm not trying to, I'm not dating other people because I want to protect my black joy. Mm. I'm too African not to date an African. <laughs> yeah. I think I'm conscious about who I date, but for me, it's character and. Mm. Obviously, yes, like, I probably have a preference, but I definitely don't think, oh my gosh, I'm not going to date that person because my black joy is going to be compromised. It's, it's, it's going to be catas. <laughs> yeah, because, do you know yeah. what I mean? Because yeah. I am, like, like, I am black. Do you know what I mean? I stand quite proudly in who mm. I am, so mm. yeah. it's not. I just, I do like women. <laughs> black, black women, like, that's just, yeah. that's me, to be honest. Yeah. I, I just like black people. Yeah, trust. But, but I'm open. Today in yeah. outside. Yeah, there's no but protection. yeah, I'm just happy. Yeah, yeah it's like, not a protection. Yeah, no yeah, protection. protection. If anything, like I, I, I walk around and feel superior being black. Mm. Like, yes. How, how are you not like look at this golden black gold we have? The melanin, baby. Like, it's Get peak. me. It's peak. Like if anything, the other person should be conscious about dating me. But like I'm never going to be like, ah, oh, <laughs> you know, Get me. I'm black, so I have to protect. Oh, I'm dating a Chinese mm. girl. Chinese won't even go for me anyway, so. <laughs> like, it's, it's fine, like, we are, we are so good <laughs> and we don't need to dibble-dabble in order to protect them, us, we float. I feel like anyone can date who they want, mm. as long as you respect everybody, yeah. as long as you don't drag or belittle anyone else to justify your preference. Mm -hmm. I can't stand people that do that, ah, uh, yeah. I don't blame black women because, yeah. you know, they do this, yeah. this and that. Then you've obviously got a fetish or you've got an issue within yourself, you yeah. need to get that sorted. That's I feel true. like it's mostly an issue. It's an issue. It's a personal Just issue. Just projecting, mm. isn't it? Um, yeah. You're projecting your own issues. I feel like you love who you love. You don't need to justify that to anyone. It's just that I feel like it's exactly what you said. The other person needs to be aware that you are a black person and therefore there are certain things that they need to uphold, they need to understand. Not even understand, they need to get with the program. And that's it, it's not necessarily a conversation. Get with the program. They need to get with the program. It's, yeah. not, it's not necessarily a conversation. And they should also be, in terms of protecting your black joy, mm. they are also then protectorates of your black joy. And they should date as human beings Ensure that your joy is protected because that's your partner. So yeah, it doesn't I agree. Yeah, Wait, so I guys, do you think if we date outside black, do you feel like we're not protected? No, 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 no. no not at all. No. I feel like protect her. Yeah. <laughs> Don't yeah. worry, babes, I got you. There's people that date outside their race and they're still very pro black. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, it's just. Yeah, I think it's just within it's, yeah, yourself. Personal. And there is a conversation around that because there are, I have, I've, I've had this debate plenty of time where people say, if you date outside your race, you can't identify as pro black, but you can't what? say you're pro black. <laughs> but that's a lie. Because if you, if you just look at the history of our people who <clears throat> have paved a lot of the way for us, they had a lot of white partners and, do you know what I mean? Fred and, Douglas. Yeah, my Angelo, my G. Like, they're the absolute goats. <laughs> So one of the I mean? rights that people fought for yeah. was to be able, be able to able love to who love. they exactly. want to love. Yeah. Black people fought for, <coughs> for those desegregation of everything. Exactly. And that included love. Exactly. So you can love who you love. That's no mm. one's business. My issue is when you degrade others yeah. to mm. justify yeah. your points. Exactly. Yeah. Your personal, I think that's yeah. disgusting. That's not right.